Hey there guys, Artistic Nick, thanks for the click. Welcome to tonight's tutorial video. This is the first in a new series that I'm going to be drawing and I'm going to be drawing Premier League football badges. I uh, had a request on the community. I'm going to be using two different types of pens today. There's a lot of fine uh, detail in these. So I'm going to be using a Sharpie pen for the bulk of the work and then I'm going to be using a, a brush tipped felt tip pen uh, which comes in two different, uh, two different ends um, just, to, just to do some of the fine detailing. So looking forward to doing this. Um, it's going to keep me busy for a while so as always we're going to try and find a central point so I'm starting off with the Manchester United badge so this is my Manchester United badge uh, drawing tutorial so we're going to start off by just finding a couple of reference points okay so lots of straight lines when we're doing uh, these badges now I am doing this freehand if I was going to be doing this and, and I'm trying to make it look absolutely identical I'd probably use a ruler uh, and measure some points out but uh, just for this tutorial I think we'll be okay to do this freehand and won't be able to make a good enough job so in the middle of this badge there's a, a, a rectangle with a point at the end and this is where the, the picture of the devil is uh, so I think I'm going to go for the the fine tip black uh, pen for this. So almost in the centre we've got this small devil shape. Uh, he's got two horns coming up. And a tail that comes up the side here. So we've got some curved lines. Uh, we've got some straight lines in this. These are actually quite uh, quite intricate uh, drawings. But I thought this would be a, a good one to start with. Uh, I have had somebody ask in the community if I could do some football bad badges, and in particular the Manchester United badge. Uh, and seeing as Manchester United are one of the biggest clubs in the world, certainly uh, here in the UK, I thought that I would give this one a go first. If this is the first time that you've watched one of my videos, thank you very much for clicking on that thumbnail. It means an awful lot to us, to small YouTube channels when you do give us that click and you watch our content. Um, if this is a, a returning visit, thank you so much. I hope you've subscribed. If you've not subscribed, then uh, go ahead and smack that, that button now. Uh, turn the notifications on. I'm gonna be doing daily video tutorials. Um, like I say, this is the first one that I've done, uh, which is the football badges, uh, but I've done Pokemon, I've done superheroes, Marvel superheroes, uh, I've done Super Mario characters, uh, so I've done quite an awful lot of uh, different series of the of the cartoon work. Um, I also do realistic graphite work, we've got a triangle in the middle here, that's the devil's mouth. So Manchester United are known as the Red Devils, if you didn't know that already. Okay, I'm going to fill this in darker uh, towards the end anyway so just above here we've got a uh, there's a what looks like a ship with three sails those of you that are Manchester United fans will recognize this immediately um, but there's a some sort of sailboat I don't know what that represents um, Manchester United aren't my club I don't follow Manchester United personally um, I like to see them doing well in Europe as, as I would do any English club but they're not my team. If you'd like to know who my team are, leave me a comment below and I will uh, I'll do a video drawing my club's badge at some point. But they're not in the Premier League, so that's a little clue. So like I said, we've got lots of straight lines. And this is outlined here with Some straight lines coming down to the back of the boat, the herald, the ship, the galleon. I'm not entirely sure what it is and like I say what it represents, but I'm sure it means something to Manchester United fans out there. So if you drop me a comment, let me know what exactly it is and, and what it represents, that'd be great. And underneath this we've got a dark line. 
Now again, we're doing this freehand, so these lines aren't going to be absolutely spot on, uh, but it just gives you a general idea of of how we would draw this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the black shot. Mm, let's use the no, let's use the this end. So this end, it's got um, it's almost a, a paintbrush tip, uh, but obviously it's a felt tip, so we're not having to to use paint and. It's it's fantastic for getting into the fine detailed areas. So uh, I've used I've used this on the Pokemon drawings before, uh, but it's a it's it's a nice pen to use. They're very cheap. I think I picked these up from a local store called W H Smiths, which is a um, it's a stationer and bookshop that we have here in the UK. Uh, I think these cost me about six pounds. They were on offer, and you get a range of colours. I think there's probably what is that? There's twelve, there's twelve pens in the in the pack, so you get your basic colours. Um, obviously, the black is the one that I'm using for most of my cartoon work. Um, the thing that I find with the sharpie pens are uh, that they don't last too long, so the nib itself does um, wear down when you originally get them. They're quite thin, uh, and you can get some good detail with them, but they do wear out quite quickly, and. Uh, as the nib wears down, you're just not able to get such a fine line. And certainly for something like this, I didn't feel that I would be able to get the um, the level of control that I need for certainly in areas like I'm working on now around the mouth and this gap here between this devil's arm and body. Uh, but then these are fantastic as well for covering large spaces quickly. So I'm just being careful not to come out of the lines at all here. So like I was saying, yeah, it's um, it makes a huge difference to these small YouTube channels, including my, my own. Uh, when you guys do like, comment, share, uh, like the videos, uh, it, it just tells YouTube that people are out there watching us. Uh, for a few months when I first started doing my YouTube channel, it just felt as though I was making these videos for myself and talking to myself, but uh, the channel's thanks to you guys is starting to pick up some momentum um, I've just reached over 23,000 views on the channel uh, which is fantastic so thank you very much for that uh, if you've watched multiple videos that's fantastic thank you uh, I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying the content uh, if this is the first time you're here then go and check the channel out there's um I've, re I've reached another milestone actually uh, about three days ago I, I uploaded my hundredth video so I've done over a hundred videos now I think I'm up to about 103 or 4 uh, this will, this this series will take me well into the 150s. I would guess, uh, because I I won't stop at Premier League football badges. I will do um, other leagues as well. Uh, Syria, uh, the, the 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 main, the main uh, the main leagues from around the world. So we're just filling this in now. Just trying to be careful not to go over the edge. Um, and doing as, as, as clean a job as we can. So coming on to this three-pronged fork or trident, whatever you want to call it. I suppose trident was for uh, Neptune or one of the, the sea gods, the sea from Greek mythology. So I guess this is a, a pitchfork. So around this boat, I'm just going to fill in around here because the actual boat itself uh, is a lighter colour and it's it's surrounded by darkness here so the boat does stand out so as you can see these pens are giving me a really good coverage uh, but they're also allowing me to get right into these nooks and crannies in there the other thing with the sharpies is they do tend to bleed quite a lot so bleeding is when you leave your pen on the paper for for too long in one spot and the ink starts to run out into the paper and make a, a splodgy mess. Uh, these don't tend to do that, uh, not as much anyway, so um, I would recommend getting something like these. I'm sure that there are equivalents, probably more expensive equivalents, but I'm finding these absolutely fine uh, for what I want to do, uh, certainly for making the videos. If I wanted to do a, um, a, a piece for somebody, if somebody requested something like this, I would obviously have a look at a better quality pen maybe uh, one that didn't streak as much but for the purposes of the videos these are absolutely fantastic 
So as you can see, I'm just moving the pen up and down in the, in the same direction here. I don't want to be uh, going different directions, so I'm not going to be um, crisscrossing and going all over the place because it just leaves too many irregular shapes within the, within the ink because you never get a, a complete coverage. Fab. Uh, this line underneath here is, is dark. And again, if you're, if you're trying this at home, don't be afraid to move the paper around. Um, I'm gonna try and keep this paper in one, one position just so that it makes for a better video. Um, but like I say, this uh, you can move the page around to, uh, to allow you to be in a more comfortable position. Uh, it was one of the first lessons that I really learned when I was starting to draw um, back in 2016. Okay, so, um, we're going to come for these either side uh, of the badge here. We've got two footballs. So we're going to do a circle. And then on the inside of that, we've got a smaller circle. And there's some patterning. I guess it's how the footballs are, are put together. Just being as careful as we can. And then we're gonna make sure that we're coming out to a similar distance away from the, the central badge. So this is my outer circle. And then on the inside, there's the football. And we've got the stitching or the, the panels, however a football is made. We have these panels. Okay, so uh, let's, let's go on to the top now. So coming over the top here, there's this sort of um, banner. I guess where it, where it actually says Manchester in there. I'm going to use this. Mm, let's go for the Sharpie pen for this. I think we're going to get smooth enough lines with that. So back to the Sharpie pen. I'm going to I'm going to connect this edge of the ball here up and around. To there and this comes round and then I'm going to join this line it's going to swoop up and around in this manner make sure that we keep this pen moving at all times And at the top there is some decoration. I guess these are, I'm not entirely sure what these are. Ribbon maybe. And there looks like there are two scrolls on, the, on either side. And I'm going to change pen again now uh, because we've actually got the word Manchester that's written uh, across the top here. So I'm going back to the brush tip pen, but I'm going to use the fine end. So this is blocked out in capital letters. The word Manchester and then there's a a similar scroll across the bottom uh, which says United on there so 
this is just a, a general font I guess it's nothing too fancy but just making sure that we're spacing the letters out so that we don't end up on this side with um, a big gap or having to make the the letters smaller to fit them in there we go so the H is bang in the middle coming on this side now with the E keeping them uniform in size so we're not having a big letter followed by a smaller letter now for the S And ER, so we we've fitted them in nicely. And finally the R. Perfect. Okay, so coming along the bottom now, we've got this almost almost a sausage shape sweeping down around the bottom in a semicircular motion and then it comes up and around to the bottom of this V here of the badge so we've got a reference point to make sure that we're in the right place and then we've got the words united. Making sure when you're doing things like this, you spell the word correctly. There's nothing worse than missing a letter out. So we're on the E and D, making sure that's the same height as the T. And again, if we were doing this and we were trying to make this look absolutely spot on, um, we'd measure these, we'd, we'd plan this out a little better. But um, like I've said, for the purpose of the video, I think we're, uh, we're okay on that. Okay. So, um, I'm going to time lapse the next bit because around here there's an awful lot of, uh, of dark so the letters are sticking out in white so I'll time lapse the rest of it and then I'll see you uh, towards the end of the drawing. So there we go guys, that's the uh, Manchester United football team badge completed. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you found this of interest or you've given it a go, uh, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, check out my website which is I, the letter I, howtodraw.com. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at Artistic Nick. Uh, don't forget to check out my other videos and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe, smack the notifications button, follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter.